when I used to think about starting a YouTube channel, I wanted to talk about fashion, beauty, handbags maybe. But that's true. Let's talk about my face vibrator. One of you uh, put a comment on one of my last videos asking about my self-care routine. And I actually have a really interesting self-care routine because I had this giant surgery on my mouth and uh, I use a lot of different things to take care of the lymphedema, which is a swelling in my face from the lack of the lymph nodes. And also my different scars on my face, my neck, my feeding tube scar, and the scars on my leg. So without any further ado, let's get started. I'm going to go through this pretty fast. I don't like to sit through long videos and this is such a niche specialized thing, although I do think that a lot of you that have scars or swelling in your body would get a lot out of this video. So let's get to it. Number one, I have this weird green sticky paper. And this sticky paper is for my scars. Now, in order to help the drainage in my face, I have to break down the scar tissue that is sitting like a dam right here where my face would normally want to drain downward. So in order to break down the scar, there's different things I have to do, and one of them has to do with this tape. This is sort of the weirdest thing maybe that I do, um, but the tape, it, it has a really drippy surface, and basically I have to take it on either side of my scar tissue and work at that scar tissue, sort of stretching it, pulling it in different directions, and the hope is that underneath the surface, that area would start to break down, and then when I do use my facial vibrator, which I'll get to in a moment, everything will seamlessly drain underneath that uh, tight scar area. That is the hope. Now, many of you might already have these, whether or not you have scars or cancer, this is a face roller. A lot of times I'll just sit in my office and do this. Really simple motions. Um, what a lot of people don't know is that really you want to try to drain the area underneath first. So a lot of times I'll start right here with my shoulders and chest and I will use the roller down here first, thereby making space for this liquid to drain. And after I get this area cleared out, then I'll come up here and do this. I know, you guys all bought one of these but you didn't know how to use it. Ah! The next thing I do is I tape my face. You know that tape face guy? He thought he was really tape face, but he is a poser. I am tape face. Basically, I take uh, some of this, I cut it into three sections, and I'm not going to put it on right now, but I'm gonna show you what I do. And then if some of you have swelling on one side of your face or the other, or maybe you want to do it on both sides, uh, you would take your tape, cut it up like this, take the strong area after you peel off the back and get it down low on your neck, and then take the strips and get them up here like this, and like this, and like this. And you stick it right to your face and then you wear that as long as you feel like it, honey. It actually really works. Um, I've been taping my face for a while now, just in my moments at home, and it really does sort of take this area and just gently sort of pull down, especially if you start at the bottom and then pull the tape upward. If you pull the tape upward as you're attaching it to your face, what happens is then everything sort of drips in a downward motion. And you should just be sitting there really watching TV or working on your computer and your face is uh, draining just a little bit faster. So, ah, give that a try. The next thing I do for drainage a little bit more often, yes, is this vibrator. And it is a vibrator, it's for my face, and I have these different heads for it. And basically what I do is uh, two different things. I'll take this really small head, and I will break down the scar tissue exactly right into my scar. So I will just point it right at my scar, and same thing, I'm watching TV, 
reading whatever. I will just take this and go right at the actual scar tissue and then after I've done that for a while, I'll change out the head and I'll do something similar to what I do with the face roller but with this guy. So, you know, starting sort of down here, I will drain out the area below and then I'll take it and get everything going right through the star area. And then sometimes I take it across my face like this. And, you know, there's different patterns and motions you can do. You don't have to press hard. The lymphatic system really operates right underneath the skin. So this is very light pressure, but you just basically pet your face for a little while and get all that liquid going uh, right down through your star tissue. The next thing I do is mostly for vanity. This is Biotonium Cream. I think it's one of the better star products on the market. You just put a little dab into your finger and you massage it right into your stars. And I think it works the best of just about everything I've tried. I've used off before, um, different things I bought on Amazon. And honestly, the Biotonium, it's definitely at a higher price point. But for me, nothing else has worked better and if you can make the splurge, I think it really does make a difference in the appearance of your scars. The next thing I do is for my jaw. So after you have a surgery like this, the tendency is for the muscles to heal really tightly. And then, especially if you have radiation, your jaw just doesn't open as wide anymore. And that's really sad when you're trying to eat or sing or whatever. If you can't open your mouth wide, it's a real bummer. So I have this um, oral stretch and this is something I just pop in my mouth and press and I sit there again while I'm watching YouTube or whatever and just keep my mouth stretched open. And I have a measurement guide right here that tells me how far I'm able to go. And I lock it into a certain goal point and every day I make sure I hit that or it see it slightly. And then that keeps me limber so I can sing and eat. The last two things are the hardest to do uh, because you they're really not very comfortable and you have to make time to do them. People probably don't want to go out with one of these on, but there it is. This is a facial compression garment. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen me wearing this guy. Uh, basically, you just put it right around your head and um, there's Velcro in the back where you attach it and the hole in your face right here is just right here for the opening and everything else is pressing down on your face so that, uh, again, you're getting that drainage for your... Um, facial swelling. I'm gonna show you how this works, if I can figure it out right now. Needless to say, this is not super comfortable. Obviously, it restricts my speech, it's pressing down on my throat. I don't love wearing this, but here we all are. <laughs> if I want to get better, you gotta wear this. I don't wear it to the library. I don't wear it to go grocery shopping. But I wear it because facial swelling. Yay! Okay, so the last thing I do is a little bit crazy, but this thing is amazing! This amazing machine is my Flexi Touch system. It has hoses coming out of here and I will show you what those hoses are attached to. They're attached to this vest and this headpiece. So, in the morning, I get my coffee. I put this guy on. I know, don't be jealous, please. I make sure the hoses are not um, rolled up or catching. And I make sure it's nice and tight. So, that is what you do. You plug this guy in, you fire it up, and basically these hoses, um, they, how do you, how do you describe what this thing does? <laughs> yeah, 
it sort of blows bubbles into this vest that push all the fluid down. It's a pump. So again, the treatment starts down here and it's pushing everything down, pushing down the liquid. And then a few minutes later, it starts in the headpiece where it pushes the fluid down like this. So all the other work that I'm doing with the tape, the face vibrator, all that stuff, the roller, that is really preparing my scar tissue for this thing to do amazing things. And it works. If your doctor tells you to do 800 things, just do all 800 because they really work in tandem. And yeah, it's annoying to do all this stuff, but if I wasn't doing it, this side of my face would be like out to here. And that's, no one likes that. It's no fun. It's not fun for me. It's not fun for you. <laughs> ah! So that's my morning. And I'm in this thing for 35 minutes, but it works so well, you guys. Thank you for watching. I am so stoked that you're here with me on this channel and I will see you next time for a completely different video.